What is up everyone, it is Lost Pixel here again and welcome to another Destiny Rise of Iron video. Just a quick message, make sure you are subscribed down at the bottom and click those notifications on to make sure you don't miss a video of mine. So it is reset day and that means we get to go through all the good stuff that Bungie has thrown our way this week. So let's just jump straight into it. The Crucible weeklies this time are going to be Mayhem Clash, rather nice actually. And also doubles, love a bit of doubles myself. Uh, loved Crimson doubles when it, they first brought it and I uh, love the doubles mode as itself. So also we have obviously SRL which is going to be the weekly. So make sure you're doing that for those legendary marks and some nice tasty gifts. Yeah. Moving on, we have the Siva Crisis Heroic Strike playlist. And let's see what perks we have on this this week. Uh, we obviously have Heroic, and we have a Void Burn this week, which is really nice. Get those truths out and get some of those snipers popping off. Maybe um, if you have an old Atheon's Epilogue, I don't know how much, how much damage that'll do, but maybe whip that out and see what happens with it. Uh, nice little burn there. Moving on, we have Brawler and also Chaff. So those two there. Pretty nice actually, uh, Brawler, obviously Chaff's a bit of an annoying one, but Brawler's a really nice one because you can just smash over the, those melees, and especially if you're a uh, a Void, a Warlock, you can smash that off really nice and easy. But moving on to the uh, Nightfall Strike, is actually going to be Sepix Perfected this time, uh, which is the remastered strike of Sepix Prime from Year 1. So let's run through the modifiers here, it's Epic, uh, Berserk, Small Arms, Match Game, and airborne match game there elements uh, enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage that's a really tough one actually because you most of the time you don't have a different weapon for every different shield so that's a bit of a tough one so maybe slap on the zalo along with a different special and a different heavy to try and smash that off also small arms which is really nice actually make sure you either have the zayla one or smash off a scout rifle so you can get those enemies dead nice and quickly so let's move on to shaxi's weekly crucible bounty and i'll see you there so shaxi boy what do you have for us this week hopefully it's something nice and easy so we can get those unknown rewards nice and quickly we have the clash match type uh, bounty so we have matches complete primary kills assisted kills and ability kills really easy to do that one actually you get loads of assists obviously and obviously if you're a person who doesn't always rinse the matador then you actually will get primary kills the only annoying one there is ability kills for your hunters out there because it's, it's a bit tr tricky to get those abilities uh, unless maybe you're a night stalker and you're throwing those smokes out a lot Anyway, we're going to move on to Tyra Khan and her artifacts and also Shiro with those bounties. So Tyra Khan, let's hope you have some nice little artifacts on some tasty rolls on them so we can actually use them this time. Oh, we have a Angram, god damn it, get out of there. So first of all, the memory of Felwinter, and that's looking like a really nice roll actually for discipline and strength. But obviously losing your super, but gain one extra grenade and melee charge and small boost to all stats. Orbs grant melee and grenade energy. I'm actually rinsing this one right now. It's really nice little artifact. I got a roll a few weeks ago that was similar to this, so it's a really, really good roll. Definitely pick it up if you want to try it out for yourself but moving on we have the memory of scory a classic when your super is full nearby your allies supers recharge faster a beast for trials of osiris and maybe pve as well if you're not a pvp player so it has the discipline on that and it's pretty decent roll actually 106 maximum so definitely try that one out for yourself and finally a memory of perun which is intellect and strength not a bad roll again there actually, not the best but not the worst. Enemy guardians with full supers and enemies with low health are highlighted. So all three of these actually you can use in Trials of Osiris. Maybe try them out if you have uh, if you can get a couple of these. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to Shiro and his bounties. As we all know, it's going to be uh, Archon's Forge City. Um, we know every single week it's a struggle to get anything but Archon's Forge. But Shiro may surprise us. Will he surprise us? First of all, I'm going to say no. So, Iron Battle Axe or uh, a powerful enemy weapons to transmit hostile threats. Do it in the Archon's Forge. Defeat Fallen, Archon's Forge. Complete Cat Encounters in the Archon's Forge. And finally, Vandal Encounters in the Archon's Forge. Shiro, you never cease to amaze me with your Archon's Forge bounties. 
So as we burn ourselves in the fire as usual, we've come to the end of this weekly reset video, so be sure to stick this secret phrase down in the comments which is going to be, Tyra has brought the goodies, because those artifacts are rather tasty indeed and make sure you pick them up for yourself. If you did like this video, please do like it and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.